this is a long time journey when twelve thousand princes was offered me that they have belonged to me. So this is a story very important. It tells the quality or quality love. So 12,000 princes, beginning of the end. <coughs> I like to reveal <coughs> because of my fellow men and there are many things hidden in Islam also Sufism and Christianity <clears throat> we must not forget in the spiritual world, light is attract to other light. If it is a middle dimension, neutral uh, paradise, complex dimension, and uh, vertical heavens. Uh, Less light beings <laughs> and spirit, they are attractive to when some spirit has much more light and they love to have give and take and they shave each other who has more like their experiences and uh, the one who has less light then offer them that if they if it is she has more light or male has more light then they offer him that uh, who has less light to more light spirit in the end if I can comfort you comfort me when in paradise or heaven two light meet each other in sexual intercourse in love uh, there is million times much more intensive, sensitive than this earthly sexual intercourse. For example, on earth when one man and woman sleeps, uh, whatever reason, partnership or one night standby, or they are in love, then body is the limitation. Both side. However, in spiritual world, body, physical body is not there. In a paradise, count as high dimension and vertical heaven, uh, spirit have lights and uh, two light can meet each other and become unification. This is the reason that uh, until now they have spoke that angels don't have sexual desire. This is not true. 
But until now, we never came to know how angels live in angelic world. They don't get married. They don't invite priests or mullah or pundit <coughs> and uh, people celebration their marriage. No. They have, they get short partnership because they are both are concentration in to grow in to have more light in spiritual world. Therefore, uh, they have a short-term partnership and they say each other, if you are an angel in paradise or other creation, if in this paradise dimension you got more light then you are qualified to go higher dimension, next dimension in paradise. So our love is, our partnership is only short terms. Or if I get a light, then I will say you goodbye. Or if you got more light, then you say me goodbye. So <clears throat> their partnership is not centered on I love you, you love me. <clears throat> Their partnership is because they are countless dimensions. Only God knows how many dimensions of paradise are or high heaven. So this process is continue in neutral dimension. Because middle dimension mostly they don't have light. Uh, they are somehow in their spirit darkness or some killianness. So they go relative dimension. And hell dark dimension is that they have not even killianness, but spirit is only dark. <clears throat> So when one of this angelical female or male get a light or other creation which mankind come to know through me, God has created different being creation long, long, long time ago before he created angel, jinn and human being. We can say this creation or youngest creation or human creation is the youngest creation. <clears throat> and second thing, when they have uh, time limit partnership, in this case they are also not bound uh, to marry each other. They are not engage each other. They just relatively partner relatively and even in this dimension of paradise they want find somebody better who has more light than they uh, can switch anytime. It means this is not a centered on themselves, this is only to comfort. But the main source, uh, center is a, that they come to know God most, uh, deepest way God nature. So they receive little more light. So when they are qualified, they can go next dimension of paradise. So this process is ongoing process. There's no limitation. And who will be where? It depends on how much he is spiritually 
center point of God actually. And more and more he received love of God. Received more and more the spirit got light. And light is the highest valuable thing in spiritual life. So light cannot be uh, you cannot buy light, you cannot sell light. It's the same law exists in our physical world. When someone is a longing for God, when someone leave religion behind and next level come spiritual way to come to know God. When this person I am revealing first time, his body is slender toward God in different when they make exercise. Buddhist has own exercise, Islam has own exercise, Jewish has own exercise. So exercise of worship, they are relative. But religion fruit is to become spiritual. But if you not becoming spiritual and remain in the religion dimension, this is not a good thing for you. Then you remain like a water is, have no more movement and then water smell bad. So after religion, we must leave religion behind and our body when slender like a rebellion horse slender and you are a good rider you can take care of this rebellion horse and you can give direction and this horse can take you high speed. So very similarly the spirit is like you can give example can take you cross the universe bleak before eyes or eternal life but when body is a slender and Enjoy in the worship. So it is a time to us, Heavenly Father, or Ishwar, or whatever you call God. But He is the only one. There is no one God beside Him. And we must not forget, by no means Buddha or anybody or Jesus or anyone can take God position. And if they take God position, they will pay with identity prices in spiritual world and there will be great punishment whoever gonna put himself in God position. This is the highest and worst crime in spiritual world that you finish the need of God and sit down yourself and say God doesn't exist but godliness exists and you are the center point and you have taken this position of God. This is a worst crime and I have seen uh, such a if there are guru or anybody or prophet whoever have done this thing Downfall took place, darkness came in their spirit and they have to begin their downfall in the spiritual world. So when body is a slandering and you asking God in our one family word, God reveals what you pray and this is a God 
was saying and I was repeating this word and this helped to become spiritual. In this position, body inviting a universal mind to join in this power position and become color true thinking in God. And then another stage, universal consciousness is the stage where you receive like a universal consciousness, like a, a is a volcano, is cloud. And you can spend this universal consciousness how far you want. You can go across the universe, cross the eternities, cross the eternal lives. But the center point will be that your universal consciousness love to embrace God and it become a universal consciousness. This is a God most wish for all being which he created. Another stage come then conscious. Conscious is a which if you harmony with conscience, this light, conscious light is so universal, you don't need any law. You are not coming under the law system. And your own conscience is going to be judging you. And in this point, when mankind going to have a conscience connected with centered on God, they don't need police, army, law, or euro systems because their own universal conscience, conscience is the judge and bring them in the darkness into the light and tell them clearly what is evil, what is good, what is the darkness, what is the light. <coughs> After another <coughs> other stage begin. This is a stage, a universal love of God. We must not forget. So long God was a universal conscious consciousness. Life was not begin. Life began when God became emotional and emotion was growing <clears throat> and God was alone in this eternal life and he his uh, loneliness, emptiness uh, sadness motivated him to create life. <coughs> At this point, <coughs> life began. So life began because of love. Otherwise, there would be no eternal life. There would be no concept of any creation. Regardless, angel or human or gene or other high creation. So love was the reason the life came. So love, after its last stage, is a spirit. And when spirit become harmony with love, it produce uh, harmony in love, then this all instrument attract God light in the spirit. And at this point, according to the longingness of this person, 
to fulfill the purpose of life to make God happy, God gives seed which is grow in the spirit and when it's explored is producing different light. For example, if the white light is, it means you was researching to come to know the truth. If it is a green light, you were researching to become peacemaker. If this is a rose color light, you was a wanted to be or you was a emotion person and you wanted that love should be given and love should be taken. Every light which is those colors are not on earth, have different meaning in paradise. So when the all light is, when the seed are exploding and light is growing inside of you, is love is the reason, love of God is the reason. <coughs> Even when you are living on earth, you can see this light day and night you can see your own spirit because at this stage you are no more spiritual blind so most mankind 99 percent they are physically their senses are functioning but spiritually their five senses are blind they cannot see life after death. They cannot travel. They have no experience. They don't know what is the life after death. They cannot taste internal life. They cannot, all the senses, they cannot hear the voice of God or high being. Uh, they are spiritual blind. They cannot smell. So external senses physically function. But spiritual senses are blind. But what I have explained now, when the all the instrument coming at one point to meet God, then according to longingness of spirit, human being, this seed grow, and when it explodes, light start coming in your spirit. So this light can be seen. Uh, while even you living with physical body, you also can not only see this light in spirit, you also can leave the body and afterward when you leave the body and your spirit come out, that body is only physical function, but your spiritual consciousness uh, your uh, mind, uh, your emotion, everything you take with you, your growth. And the body is laying under certain law is eight in hour as a physical function like a watch work. <laughs> so if spirit is not coming in this uh, or you have not enough Many Hindu they try and they never came back or they came back too late. Too late. And there is one famous story, Hanuman. When he came back, his body was burned. So this was a terrible for him. So he is still researching his body actually. But now he joined my kingdom of God one time in the world and he awareness coming that his body is gone. <clears throat> so, <coughs> when you leave, when you are having light, this light, spirit becomes so powerful, can leave the body. So long body, 
Spirit cannot leave the body, you are in dream stages. But once you come in vision stages, that you are sitting here on this earth and you can see life after death and you can observe, this is a vision, vision stages. The light comes through your eyes and you are sitting, you are living in physical world, but this light takes you billion, trillion light in your far away and you can see how spiritual world is growing, how is the movement and these are the 40 stages. After this, if spirit has more light, uh, it can say, it can slide from the body and you cross the life after that. You observing the internal life and information and divine information. So your vision to, uh, to uh, live in the enlightenment of God is not only physical work. Because now you have seen, so vision is much great to see internal life. You become this person who can give the light to this world and we can create ideal world. But it's what God said, O Messiah, Zahi, O my heart, through you gonna begin the kingdom of God as an individual new messiah will bring the family who will be unification in love with God and centered on this family new family will take place which is a society which gonna be centered on God and God's love and centered on this family society become nation and this nation gonna be belong to God and fulfill the purpose of eternal life and send it on this nation all nations going to come together and we will live in one family world and this called new heaven and new earth again I must explain new heaven means when God will shall done and this will mean to settle down in love with God creation and God should not be invisible. And new earth means not God will destroy this earth. New earth means that earth is very beautiful. Even this is a physical earth but it is beautiful. This is a great gift what God gave to human creation. So new earth means no destruction for this earth. It's beautiful. New earth means new mankind. The mankind who gonna have a living relationship with God and God will not hide himself and God will be physical. Uh, God will be will be visible for this creation, human creation. And new world will be established in the love of God. So these are the things which I am explaining to you. Now, coming back to my topic, more light you have, more color you have, your value increase in spiritual world, in middle dimension, neural dimension, countless paradise or countless heaven. Your value is so increased in God light that every heaven is magnet to you. Every heaven wishing that you should be passing in their heaven or spend some time 
because they know that your light is telling how near you belong to God. More intensive light is telling your identity, your value. It's telling wherever you will go in eternal life, wherever you go in eternity, they can see how special person you are in the eyes of God. So let's say Islam talking about 72 women you will virgin or beautiful being women you will see. But Muhammad telling half truth is was the whole truth was that if women will follow the fulfill the will of God, they will receive double uh, gift, honor. So they will get 144 women will receive beautiful beings who will be attractive to uh, woman light or have give and take. So same thing, Sufis, uh, they have many times revealed that they are with heavenly beings or paralyzed beings and this female and this male uh, beings are such a beauty that if this person comes uh, one time in our sky, uh, every eyes will look at them without uh, moving their click of eyes. Such a beauty they have. So, also in spiritual world I came to know that Jesus has 3,000 princes who devote their life uh, that Jesus they can comfort the Jesus. So, I told you already, more light you have, more love you have from God, more light beings, if you are woman, then male, if you are male, then female, who have a less light or equal light, want to be attractive and magnet to you, and with uh, this two light come together and uh, the one who has more light they can give spark who have less light but who has more light even they give spark to less light in love or sexual intercourse this is they don't lose their light but Light being never make a give and take in love or any in sexual partnership uh, with middle dimension spirit who have a darkness and some clearness or with a dark spirit. They never comes. So maybe in this world there are many beautiful women can be a beautiful man. But they are not a beautiful in spiritual world. I have seen even most beautiful Hollywood, Bollywood, but their spirit was so dark. It means external beauty on earth is not mean that you can have external beauty in spiritual world. This beauty forever. Even normal women, normal men, if they are fulfilling the purpose in love with God and God is the first love and they are helping mankind to have a one world where we all can live as a one family world, then even normal women, normal men can have so much light and so much beauty in eternal life. So external beauty on this earth by no means that there will be continued beautiful 
in spiritual world. And I have experienced this many times. A beautiful uh, woman or man, even the Hollywood or Bollywood, wherever, I saw their spirit was very dark. And they were looking very ugly. And uh, bad smell was coming from them. Coming, continue to know the divine truth. One day, 12,000 princes who have such a light that even heaven love to magnet them, this female uh, came to me and they say, we want to comfort you. We want to be with you. We are belong to you. And uh, now this is a little bit misunderstanding. I would explain because my future uh, family, mankind, son and daughter, they should know more and more clear information so they can settle down their life centered on internal uh, information because this fallen man, this blind man has no information what happened at life up to death, where spirit go, how this internal life function more information, more information divine they will come to know, more they will be careful, more they will be aware, more they will grow spiritually and this world will be an ideal world. So when these 12,000 princes, I meet them in different palaces in heaven and I was wondering how God created their beauty actually. Uh, I have not seen such a beauty. So at this point, this uh, I met one by one this princess and I thought God gave me this gift this 12,000 princes. So at one point, I said to Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I bow to you. And this, this 12,000 divine princes, their beauty is even more attractive in those heaven and they are the light of those heaven uh, you have given me as a gift when I say to God uh, and I also say to God that you create many thousand form for me which is a unique beauty and you have given to me and I can take any form and this form of so beauty that internal life you look at because God made with his own hand this form. And uh, at this point I was asking God which form I come to you and God said you come to me with this form, original form when you begin your mission. I love this form and all other forms I give you as an internal gift. So I say to Heavenly Father, I am so thank you that uh, you gave me this 12,000 princess uh, uh, as a gift. So when I say this thing, God stared at me. And then I was saying, God, I have saw, my wife has also many princes 
maybe she met one or few, but I know they are wonder beauty actually, a being, prince. And uh, God looked at me again and stared at me. And uh, then I, telepathy came to me, then something is, uh, more information I have to ask God, not some misunderstanding is. That's a great misunderstanding is in Islam, in Sufism. And, uh, and uh, I saw about Jesus and now, so I wanted to more open up this. And I ask again, God kept silence, but when I insist God, no, I want to know the answer. Then God starts smiling. And this universe, this internal God, when he cooled down his light, then He is, you can forget, you cannot forget this moment. Uh, here is God picture, but uh, just look at, imagine, this ice what God has coming so much light that can dominion over all creation. If you look at God here, they are so much universal golden light that all creation become like a small ball. So whole picture of God is a universal light. When God cooled down, you can, you can see him. You can embrace him. But when God come in the glory that all creation has not a single chance, it look like a, this universal fire or light gonna burn up or take over all the creation. Uh, there was a time when God was a universal consciousness. There was a time when light came. But God make his own form much, much later when he created different creation or being, uh, he created his form so they can see him, they can embrace him. But God is not depending on uh, this form, spirit. We are depending on this spirit because soul means subject of universal prime force. is spark coming by God. If this spark don't come to us, then human creation, gene, angel, or any creation cannot survive. So God is a universal spark, giving all the creation external and internal. One day God decides not to give this spark, all creation will be end in this dark eternity and it will be over. But God is not depending on light. God is not depending on his form. Because he created so we can see each other in love. So in this point, I'm sharing with you to come to know the value of God. One life, every second is not enough. To come to know God deepest way, his nature, his personality, his character, and one life, eternal life is not enough to come to know God. Every time in eternal time period, we will be another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, paradise, another dimension, another dimension. We will come to know little and little more light we will have, more we will come to know God, 
more deeper sphere. But this body can help you on this earth that can speed up your love estimate, your true thinking, your true awareness, your true nature, your emotional love and your spirit can receive then in the end this love and light and this foundation which you lay on earth it can help you because you have the light in the spirit so continue travel continue going to another dimension and grow more continue in spiritual to know the nature of God. So when I ask again and again God, first God smiled and then I saw God start laughing and when I look at God, God was this time, moment cool down his light, I, I felt like a whole eternal creation is dancing actually. And Heavenly Father, hold my both hand and took me in arm and kissed me many, many times on my head and said, I did not give you this 12,000 princess and or you mentioned to your wife uh, so many prince. Uh, I did not give you so many princes and or your wife, so many prince who are attractive to her. And God said to me, when you have more light, many paradise being are attracted to you. And want to, because you have my light, they want to comfort you. So in this case, they want to serve you. Many paradise serve you. You are most VI, how you, we call in our world, a very important person. You are the center point, God says, of your beauty because this beauty coming from me. So when I, all your life you was walking for a cross, you take so many cross, so many suffering, so many pain. You became old man. And when I say to you, you are my everlasting heart, more my love was coming to you, more my light was coming to you. So in the highest heaven, this 12,000 princes, they wanted to devote you. They wanted that their heaven are belong to you. They are most unique beauty in the heaven. And so these 12,000 princes fallen in love with you because I love you so much and inside you my love dwell. So these 12,000 princes, uh, each princess have many heaven actually. And, uh, and God said the most my one daughter, she loves you so much. Who put necklace get in your uh, neck. I uh, wrote many things about her. So, by free will, uh, they wanted to be belong to you. And I give them all the freedoms. Freedom of universal freedom, internal freedom. They have all the beauties and freedoms and they have grown also in my light, this princess. But they are countless heaven, my son. So by their own will they decided, this 12,000, uh, because you are my heart because you have laid the foundation for the new ideal world, uh, which was a prophesy in all religion that kingdom of God will 
establish on earth. This is a dessert that they are in love with you, but then God starts again smiling and laughing. And uh, I was looking at God and I know this moment will never come back again. I was wishing this moment should be more longer. I can see this creator. I can spend a little more time. Every time God met me, there was an open new way new expression of love, new growth for me. I have touched new wind, new springtime. I cannot express this by word. It's too less. question of this 12,000 princes. In this moment was God's love and my love. God was holding me and loving me. This was the <coughs> most <coughs> special moment. God was holding me in love, there was more, there was always new springtime of love, new frequency, new color, make me mystics and they like it. I don't know, how shall I explain you? I cannot, maybe I can try to give this moment explanation, but I cannot give you my observation and my experience. So God was laughing and loving me, and that's all I wanted in my eternal life. This was the highlight fruit of my effort that for the will of God, I took every cross. Christianity says Jesus died on cross to realize substantial kingdom of God. One cross is not enough. You need all your life many countless cross, suffering and pain. and punishment and prison and homeless you go through so many cross so god was loving and then i asked the reason of god god says okay you thought that i gave it to you but uh, because of my love how much I love you, they can free will and uh, they want to be belong to you. Uh, and then God was laughing again and say, but under now you don't know their demand, uh, their challenges. Uh, then I came to know, ah, uh, it's not only enough that they came to me, so I became very aware, so I said to God, Oh, my most heavenly father, you are my parents. You are the everlasting parent for all mankind. And now I will find out what is their demand actually. And 
God will love you and say, do it. Uh, so you can, something maybe you find more information. So Heavenly Father, again, kiss few time on my eyes and say, I am creating so many creations. And this motivation, this love, when I look at you, you are my sunshine. Now I have a great hope that there will be many like you. Because one I found, so there will be many like you. And in this moment, God light start growing. And when God light start growing, then whole eternal heaven look like a one just point, not even ball, one point. In this moment, this is the glory of God. And then I bow and God disappeared. After I was sitting in this place, I share in this heaven many tears in bow position and say thank you my creator, my beloved, giving me those moments in love. Every time you meet, there's another love, another way. And other springtime, and other peace, and other universal freedoms, and other thought, and other endless love is sounding. So I decided, I ran again those different heaven and uh, I say I want to see you all actually one time so there was very much uh, shining love in their eyes and they says uh, if this is your wish we can all meet in one heaven and would you like to ask some things? I say yes. I would like to ask something because I was thinking God has given me this 12,000 princes but now Heavenly Father said to me another truth that because God loved me this and God loved is transformed in the light and you are attractive to my light and you by yourself has a unique light and beauty. So then we was meeting in one heaven and all the princes, princes female came there and uh, in spiritual reality you can meet them all like in this small room it can come millions spirit here there's no uh, boundaries there's no limitation so when they all was there I say I came to know that uh, because the love which I have for God, the different light which God has through the love I receive, because of this you wanted to comfort me and you wanted to, that you are belong to me. When I say this thing, I saw 
great shining smile and all the female princess and uh, I I says uh, you decide yourself it was not a god you decide yourself to be my eternal to be with me internal life uh, but until now I got some guidance by God you the, the heavenly beauty your your beauty and your light is dominating the heavens but uh, this is not all there is more hidden truth so what will be your demand actually? This time I saw they all were looking at each other, princess, and they start smiling. And uh, I felt heaven is dancing this moment. Uh, they say, only one can express you our all, what we uh, why we all have devoted and given us to you. We decided our own heart, our own love to be belong to you. We have many heaven, each princess, and uh, this heaven is a very high standard. And we were waiting very long time that uh, there will be someone special who God will say, this is my heart. And finally, without, this was a explosion for our thinking. We never thought that there will be some, someone who will come for fallen mankind who will born in evil world who will have not in the beginning evil light only he has wished to see God happy and you went all the way so we never thought we saw him God will choose among of his son and daughter in heaven someone to represent his heart. But the dream which is go beyond billion years since God created human creation. You are the first one who established the foundation for new heaven and new earth. And all the prophesy was given to human creation. Since human creation left God. They came billion messiah, every messiah six thousand year circle time period. So when all this love was the dwelling of God in you, so we decided we was fallen in love with you. But to be with us, we have also requirement and you will fulfill this requirement so our love could grow more for you. I say, uh, what requirement you have? The old princess says, God never forces us. This is our own, as a spirit being, we decide it. Our own heart. But there is only one thing which, there are many things, our requirement, our wishes which you come to know in eternal life. But here we talk only one point. I say I'm listening. 
the old princesses, on earth you always face. Ali said to her, so cut. All time are belong to God. I say yes. I always say. This is a reason I could make it to fulfill this dream which God was longing that someone will come and establish my kingdom of heart on earth. So they all say when you come eternal life, this sentence what you say, all times are belong to God. You have to change a little bit because all timing belong to God. But in this timing, there are many timing will be which are belong to us. Because we have grown also got beauty in love actually. And we want also this love. We want also wishes that you must fulfill it. So, and that's what I would like to share with you that on earth is fine that all Ali said to her so God. But internal life, God created us unique. There are many times also belong to us. When I heard this thing, uh, this was the one explosion for me. Because I have seen countless darkness. I have heard human cry. I heard many creation who lost their light in those dark hell. Most human being I saw they went in the hell. There was only short moment they make a wrong decision. And how much time passed by, they cannot come out. Later, this fallen human being, fallen angel, fallen as a creation, they're trying to come back, but hell is not a something which you can grow there. It take billion years or more. That's need a with this body was a golden opportunity. So now this hell are crying that someone Messiah should come in this dark hell and help us to grow spiritually. This human being or fallen who are in hell. They was a cruel misuser. They have done every evil to destroy fellow men and other fallen creation did same thing. They became most terrible and so much war, bloodshed took place, and now they are coming in the hell, in dark, for help. So during this mission, and I was thinking when I go in spiritual world, on this side should belong to God. God feels sad because he did not create it hell. 
Hell was created because of fallen creation, fallen human being. And God will be real happy when this hell will be no more and eliminate and all this fallen being and this cruel dark spirit can come back and one day there will be no dark hell left. So because of this my heart stuck in dark dimension. And uh, there are so many dark dimensions. One day when God's son and daughter will be spiritually open, they will come to know what I'm saying. This ongoing process to bring light in those dark dimensions. That's why it's very important to build for the kingdom of God in one planet or human creation. So from here, mankind should not go in the hell. When kingdom of God is established, there will be only people who has belong to God who let God say that kingdom of God will or not will be belong to God love. So no evil spirit will be produced to go in the hell. So I was thinking all my during mission that when I go spiritual world, all the time will be belong to God and to see smile of God. I will be continue work, continue will be served dark dimensions so one day this hell doesn't exist. This was my motivation. But I'm at the same time this many spirits who went high dimension, they have forgotten the cry of dark hell because this spirit know that this fallen angel, fallen creation, this fallen human being have caused so much suffering and pain uh, to God, have caused so much sadness to God. They make God broken heart. So they don't return and they go continue traveling in more light they see, more they go further. More they see, more they going vertical in heaven. So, I say to this 12,000 princess, you are the greatest gift of God, but I will be not a bound of timing with you. And again, I repeat my sentence, also in spiritual life, all time will be belong to God. My life is nothing more to comfort God. And they say, uh, it seems like a, our wishes and the time in which one we want to have with you, which any creation wish to have few moments in our heaven. You don't see like this. I say, no, I see like this. But I will be not bounding of time in eternal life. I will be continue to Comfort my most beloved God. And even one person will be in hell on dark dimension. I know God will be not happy. God's sadness will be there. 
I'm just giving you an example, but I did not spoke with this 12,000 princes. Example is if one parents have 10 children, six, seven children, or let's say seven children, they have happy life. They are living a wonderful life. But few children, they are homeless. They did not make it. They are living suffering and pain. Which parent will be happy until they don't want to see their other children home? So I say all time will be belong to God. I will not bound with any timing with you. And even my other wish after most wish will be, you also come with me in the hell. So it will be more easier to liberate all those hell. When I say this thing, they start looking at me. It's like I dropped some bomb there. And uh, they were just looking at me and like I make them speechless. They says, we are such a high heaven, even no human spirit allowed to come here. You only came because you have overwhelming love of God. Otherwise, even angels, other creation not allow here. I say, I know when God most beloved daughter said to me, when I was asking help for human being, they says, this, we have nothing to do with human creation. This is angel are taking care. God don't want the human even breathe come in those heaven. And uh, we don't want. Otherwise this heaven will be get atmosphere gifted environment. And you asking us that you take us many trip of hell. I say yes, that's my wish. And one thing she say, that's why this dragon who the most greatest dragon God gave you as a gift. Also, is not happy that you want to use him as a transportation to bring people from down dimension to better dimension. Seems like in internal life when you come, your mission will be to make us all unhappy. We thought there will be such a love that in this love you can grow more thankfulness to God. I say I am very thankful to God. I am more thankful human being that even I have no wish heavens. I was no not wishing paradise. I was not wishing neuter dimension. Even small mirror dimension one of they are countless mirror dimensions. If I get one place, I am very happy. If I can come to know little nature, I will be joyful that spiritual world, I have no sickness. I am young. I have no bad luck. I have love of God. I am the most human being who are 
bottom of my head, heart is thankful to God that he gave me life, internal life. So, small, small thing make me so happy. Now, this is my good luck that I'm in heaven. I have crossed the paradise. And they look at me again and the old princess say to me, we see when you come into life. And I say, I want to share something with you. It seems like it is the beginning of end. And either I will, my heart will be continue so long I see God liberate and no hell left. All time I will be belong to God and bound by God in love. So I don't know. I thought you have known God gave it to you, but I know you love so much God. God has given you so much freedom and democracy, and that's the way it should be. And uh, you will make your own internal decision. Our my life will be not complete without God. On this earth, I say a few sentences I want to share. This arrogant human being are so strong, powerful. Life after that, they are so weak. When everything is taken away from them. Here, when I look at them, they are so dominated with their power, possession, their authority. And then there are nobody in the hell. But there are also reasons that many good people got a block not to come to God. They are the reason who did not give opportunity to most mankind to come to know God. And this mankind got a killed. They got a suffering and pain. So I am crying on earth and I come spiritual world, my cry will be continued. And I don't know where will be this end up. Finally this princess said to me, just wait when you come to internal life. God love you and we all love you. And here there will be no contradiction and no confrontations. And this all princess said to me, you most welcome in our heaven. And our door will be always open for you. And we will see what time brings. I say yes. Time change many things. Your growth change, your thinking change, your feeling change, your love change. But there's only one parent who never change. This is our beloved, beloved and beloved creator who we call God or Ishwar. Ishwar or we call Allah. He's the only one who never changed his love. At this point I say to goodbye and they say to me goodbye. But in my heart I say to them goodbye 
because my heart, my spirit will be not bound to forget the cry of this health. So, this was the story which I, my heart, I decided no princess, no heaven belong to me. It is enough with God, love is belong to me. God love is the highest. Today I lose God love. Today I lose God. I don't know what I will do then. I will never find an other being like our most beloved creator. At this point, I know my love and all the time first place belonged to God. My everlasting love belonged to God. And my last love, wherever I will be, I will hear this cry. And I know this cry will be telling me that I cannot enjoy heaven and paradise. My eyes have seen so much. My eyes even, even have seen many new creations where nobody entered. I thanks and vow the love of God he made me universal being like himself. There's only one explanation I want to give. On this earth many say, why you call him? Why you call him male? Why he cannot be female? So I would like to explain what God went through in dark eternity, what God, no one know, no tiny even discover how much loneliness, how much emptiness and sadness in dark eternity shall. What were those challenges? In our earth comes small disaster, then we start crying. God wins. We will come to know more we grow, how many disasters God went through. So his first nature which came out is a male. That's why I call God male, because he is a male being in eternal life. He is not a female being. So. I share these things, not with this fallen man, the who gonna discussion with me, who gonna argument with me, who gonna call me evil. I'm giving this cross message, heavenly truth, <coughs> for future. God's son and daughter, <coughs> future generation. Who will have a great heart for God? And God says, this earth will be belong to my lover. And whenever God give me permission, I God give me one ring and I pray. And with this ring I will give this God's son and daughter. And it will be written, earth belong to God's love. What I have shared here, I have not increased your knowledge for eternal life, but 
I have expressed my heart, how I see things, how I have grown in the love of God, how deepest way I came to know God, I have expressed all these things. Tomorrow, near future, when son and daughter will be travel with their spirit, eternal life. I'm pretty sure their center point of love will be God, but they will also remember me in God's love, that they were the one who has given opportunity to mankind and other creation to meet God, most nearness way. And God bless all of them when they will be the greatest superstar, this human being and other creation who are fallen in heaven. This will be most happy days in my life.